Good morning, good morning, good morning. Buenos dias, mi gente. Yo, yo, welcome to Daily Discipline number 253. Rob Hoback here. Happy that you're with us and honored and humbled that you keep coming back, like for reals. It is a hump day. It's a work day. I'm a little late, so it's time to get to work. I've got a PSA for you guys um, that I keep forgetting to tell you about. That the other day when King James and his mama came by, he talked about... Well, number one, he tries to do the Yogi O, you know, and all that, and he just doesn't know how to do it, which there's a couple of you that do it, and that's fun for me, um, especially why it's not that hard. But anyway, um, but King James said that it, when he watches this, oftentimes he does it at work, right? He always starts his work day, and he'll have his post-its, and he'll write what he's thankful for. And man, let me tell you, if the whole purpose, you go back to like episode one, that I said, hey, I need a, I need an accountability system. I need to be able to know that I'm going to do this every day. And then I ask, I'm like, hey, if you're not doing this, feel free to, to, to you know, sing along. And so, and look, King James, he doesn't, he, there's no reason for that dude to lie to me, right? He's number one, I don't, he doesn't strike me as the kind of person that would tell you things uh, just because he wants to avoid a difficult conversation. And I'm pretty sure my, I know my Aunt Barb's engaged. She, hell, she texted me yesterday. So thank you, Aunt Barb. I love that. Um, anyway, my point is that it was just refreshing. It was nice to know that all the, that this is having a positive influence on other people, where it's forcing people to think about what they're thankful for uh, and what their IMs are. So let's start with that. First things first. I'm still the realist. I'm also better. Just went over there to get my IMs page and forgot it. So we'll have to write that down later. But when I say I'm better, better than I was. A day ago, a month ago, six months ago, and this morning, my question of the day, do you want to party like it's 1999, right? Uh, because I read an article about, you know, 20 things that have happened in the last 20 years. And it, uh, at the same time, it's kind of hard to believe that 1999 was 20 years ago, but at the same time, it does feel quite some time ago. Um and in episode 225, so just you know a couple weeks ago, uh, we were talking about the, how fast a decade will pass. And the perspective point there was LeBron not being in the NBA Finals. Well, so I can remember what I was doing the summer of 1999. I'm assuming you probably can too. Um, so 2009 was much different than 1999, if you think about that. Um, 1999, internet was just coming around. Uh, just gaining popularity. I think I read that 23% of homes had it. Matter of fact, my cousin Hobie, Hobie Cat, who watches this, had, um, what was that, like Net TV or something like that? It was pretty cool, right? Uh, but the point is that, you know, there's been significant change since then. In 2009, uh, or excuse me, 1999, the big deal was, you know, what was going to happen with Y2K? When the, when the clocks went over, was everything just going to shut down? Well, we didn't have those concerns in 2009. 2009, we were still dealing with an economic recession, the Great Recession. Um, we had a financial crisis. So for me personally, when I think about that, the summer of 2009 was a couple of things. Number one, me coming to the realization that I was going to need to let my condominium in Phoenix, Arizona go into foreclosure. Right? Like, what? Like, yeah. Yeah, you're already down a whole bunch of money. You just It was a lifetime worth of where it was when I bought it and went, you know, and all I would do was throwing good money after bad. I had to walk away from it. So that was difficult for me. There was a lot of uncertainty about the company that I worked with, worked for, who now the company I worked for is several generations down the line from that. But we went through, you know, the summer and the fall, not knowing whether the company was going to survive. And then for me personally, when I think about this, so 20 years ago, um, yeah, that was life before Sam, Addy, and Jack. So this is better. Uh, that was life before logistics. I was still, it was burger time. Speaking of which, the CEO reached out to me or CFO reached out to me yesterday. Funny how this stuff's all connected. Anyway, life before logistics. It was life before I had a plan, right? That's 20 years ago. I was just cruising and I thought I had it made, right? Like had money, never missed a meal. When I say I had money means I, I had some money. Because I came from an environment where we had no money. So any money was better than that. Um, that was life before my awakening, before I kind of realized, like, bro, you you got to pull this stuff together. 
Um, so here's my question for you, or my statement, or my plea before we shut it down for the day. If you aren't awake yet, right? Like if you're not looking around and you understand, like, look, you got to have a plan. You know, it, 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 life's more than what we're sold. You know, whether, whether you're just awake. I mean, there's no other way I can say that. If you haven't awoken yet, you may want to consider trying to wake yourself up before life wakes you up. Trust me, from somebody that life woke me up a couple of times, tried to wake me up, didn't listen. Finally, I started listening last year. Trust me, it's a lot easier. It's got to be easier if you wake yourself up, right? Got to be. Anyway, hands up, peace out, we're better together. Man, that 20 went by quick, huh? And we got another 20 staring at us. So let's get to work. It's hub day, hub day. That's for you, Aunt Barb. Uh, and let's get to work. I'll be back here tomorrow. Can't wait to see you then. Love you guys. Bye.